Hello students, in this video we'll discuss how to construct a Lyapunov function from a system which is not Hamiltonian but almost nearly Hamiltonian. Let's consider the system x prime is y and then I'm going to have minus x y to the sixth power y prime of t is negative x minus x to the fourth times y. Notice first the system is nonlinear and the system is not Hamiltonian. These terms over here will make sure the system is not Hamiltonian. However, if we consider, if we disregard these higher order terms, this term has order 7, this term has order 5, if we disregard the higher order terms, our system will become x prime equals y and y prime equals negative x. And this system over here is Hamiltonian, and the Hamiltonian for this system, h of x and y, will be x squared plus y squared over 2. So what I will do is I will use this Hamiltonian for the approximate system to construct a Lyapunov function for the principal system. So let's now use L of x and y, which is x squared plus y squared over 2, as our candidate for a Lyapunov function. So what we'll do is we'll take our trajectory. So we'll look at L of x of t, y of t. And we will differentiate this to get partial L partial x dx dt plus partial l partial y dy dt by the chain rule. Partial l partial x will be x and dx dt is y minus x y to the sixth plus partial l partial y is y and then y prime is negative x minus x to the fourth y. Now, if we look at the terms in our expression over here, the Hamiltonian part, x, y, and y, negative x, will cancel. So the Hamiltonian part will cancel. And what we'll be left with is the expression negative x squared, y to the sixth, and negative x to the fourth, y squared. And we can notice that all of these terms are negative. So now I have a function L of x, y, which is greater than or equal to zero. And the derivative along the trajectories of this function is less than or equal to zero. Now we can sketch the graph of L. Here's x, and here's y, and here's the z-axis, which we'll call the l-axis. L is a paraboloid with an absolute minimum at the origin. So the minimum of L is 0 and that occurs at 0, 0. Now any trajectory of this system in the xy plane is mapped up onto my surface. And we know that as time increases, the derivative with respect to t of the trajectory on this function decreases. So along this surface, my trajectory decreases. So along the surface L, our trajectory decreases. So 0, 0, the origin, is asymptotically stable critical point. So in conclusion, 
we can use what would be the Hamiltonian for a system that's nonlinear of high order to construct a potential Lyapunov function. Notice the signs have to be in the correct configuration in order for the derivative to be decreasing. Thank you very much.